good 126 sprints, the value of sprinting. This is where uh, yesterday we talked about uh, getting into the zone, into the writing zone. Sprints are forcing that to happen. It's like, okay, everybody, we're starting to sprint at this time, and people will share on YouTube. Uh, the Writing Wives uh, have a have a blog and a website that they uh, that they sprint with, and everybody hop on at nine nine a.m. Eastern time and and start jamming, and then fifteen minutes later, everybody takes a break for five minutes and then dives back in. It's it's discipline, it's training, and this is part of uh, uh, professionalism. Hey, when it's eight o'clock, it's time to go to work, and you go to work. Well, this is uh, this is that very same mindset to get you into that mode of this. Now it's work time. We work. It's a great uh, it's a great thing to to make happen. You force yourself into the zone. So this is other people are forcing you into the zone too because you can't look around. It's like uh, being in Catholic school. I, I went to Catholic school growing up, and yeah, when they said don't look around, they were serious. Otherwise, you get your knuckles wrapped by that damn wooden ruler. So this is you just focus in. You do the work, sprints, team sprints, individual sprints, set the timer, turn everything else off, go to town. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of your thoughts, become your words, become your actions, and your actions, when you do them over and over, they become your habits, and habits are what define you, because when, uh, the, when the chips are down, when everything's going to hell, your habits are what are going to carry you forward. It's what you're going to... Uh, uh, how you're going to work through a problem, how you're going to move forward when other things are happening. Habits. So you want to develop that habit of, hey, at nine o'clock, hey, sprint starts. You turn on YouTube, you watch. Hey, everybody, hey, how's it going? Let's go. Sprint. And you start jamming. And uh, you can't be doofing around because other people are watching. So it's a little peer pressure. It's kind of like how Weight Watchers works, where uh, everybody gets up and says, hey, I weighed this much today. Uh, weekly testimonials to, hey, I'm, I'm working on this because you don't want to get up and say, hey, I gained 10 pounds last week. Good on me. Uh, hey, people have better humility than that. So this is, this is why uh, sprinting works. Create, develop the habit of doing the work. Uh, and also it'll teach you that you can learn to be creative on command, which is weird because you think, well, I have to be inspired. Yes, you do until you don't. And uh, when you train your mind to get into that mode of writing, you can get in there and you will instantly, now you're creative. And uh, it, it's a cool thing when you're day in, day out, you're writing and you're getting where you want to go. It's like, okay, nine o'clock, time to start writing. Cool. All these characters come to me. They're doing great things. I'm getting it down. Action is happening. Uh, we have a conflict. We have resolution. We move on to the next scene. <clears throat> All great stuff. And two 15-minute sprints every day, what if that gave you an extra half a million words a year? What would that do for you? Two 15-minute sprints. Yes, that's possible. That's uh, 1,500 words a day. Can you do that? Many people don't have that kind of time where they can set away, and that's that's me. I don't have 15-minute blocks where I can set aside, so I don't sprint as often as I, as I should, as I could. Uh, I'm happy with where I'm at, but if I wanted an extra half a million words, how about two 15-minute sprints forced every day at certain times, make it happen, and uh, uh, you'll find your backlist grow pretty damn fast if you're writing half a million new words a, a year, because out of those, most of them will be publishable, because what it also does, sprinting, it's practice. You want to be a professional? You want to be better at your job? You practice. You train. You get feedback, and you improve. That's how you become a better and better professional, better at your job. A cool job where you get to tell stories. And it's just you here. If you want to get up and get coffee, hey, more power to you. There you go. Had a revelation this morning as I put on my headphones. My headphones, I hang them over, over here on this hook. Well, that's the window to the great outdoors. It's a triple pane window. There's ice on the inside of it because it's pretty cold out. And uh, this, it's like putting on a wet swimsuit every morning, which you might equate that with negative reinforcement, but I'm a Marine. So uh, yeah, I slap that wet swimsuit on my head every morning and we go to town because it's time to go to work, right? Sprinting. Think about it. Think about how you can work it into your life. Get with a group that does sprints. Uh, Writing Wives, I recommend highly. Mal Cooper uh, and, uh, and Jill Cooper. 
do a great job at motivating people, keeping them mode, moving forward during the sprinting times. All right, everybody, you have a great day and go get those words.